Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your July 2018 general reading. Um, the messages will not resonate with every Scorpio who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, thank you to those who have done so. Find me on Instago, Instagram. Uh, go over to my website, book or reading. Um, <clears throat> send me an email. Okay. All right. So we have love, past, present, future, career and finance. Additional messages of support. We'll start with love, of course. The bottom of the deck for love, we have the King of Wands. I want. The King of Wands is all about their wants, their desires, what they're passionate for. And they, they're very intuitive. They know what serves them best because they have the foresight of... Um, They listen to their intuition, so they have that foresight. They aren't too wavering in when in, in making decisions about what they want. If they want it, they'll go after it. If it if it um, manifests in, into anything, then it does. If it doesn't, they're okay with that too. Oh, also have some stones. The stones here. Um, I was just guided to do the stones. I normally don't do them. Um, okay, so let me just move my phone. Um, a lot of you are finding a lot of spiritual clarity by water. A lot of you are being spiritually heightened. You're 100% concerned about spirituality and religion and all of those things um, you're trying to find some stability some some foundation in 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 your um, your spiritual your spirituality or your religion you're questioning what you believe you you're wanting the answers you're seeking them you're also asking spirit to bring you those answers uh, some of you could be light workers to psychics tarot card readers uh, palm readers you know and so forth um some of you have having some sentimental feelings about an ending or about an impending ending <laughs> something that you know needs to end way off is uh good fortune good money good times it looks as if you're uh for some of you you are the emotions and the sentimental feelings have set in around a certain person who brought you a level of stability but you're just downright bored and um the situation is dull is what i'm hearing it's just it's just not fulfilling anymore you it looks like you found the two of cups a, a successful relationship elsewhere and it might be with another water sign like yourself, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But the love is mutual. The feelings are mutual. But you're still wrapped up in sentimental feelings about some other situation. Could be business. Could be romance. You go ahead and you make it work for whatever it works for in your life. If it works. If it doesn't, don't force it. Definitely trying to find balance and truth and clarity around spirituality the earth and where you came from and all of those things you, you'll find some a bit of peace and serenity around water um you've got a big hurdle a big stumbling block toward long-term stability monetarily good luck good fortune good health there's the stumbling block that is maybe um, a long-standing relationship, a long-standing idea of how a relationship should be or how you should be in relationship. Um, could be done with the earth sign too. We could learn some earth here. Uh, Capricorn Virgo Taurus for those who don't know. Um,
some of you relocated or you want to relocate it's a big stumbling block here it's like an obstacle that you've got to get over a hurdle you've got to get all over there's friendship here too all right let's get into the cards oh yeah these okay in the past we have the full the knight of cups the two of wands yeah some of you just like i said relocated you've moved in a different direction you've had a new development for yourself um you don't know how it's going to develop but it's but it's a new development whether that's in love we do have the knight of cups here uh this is love and romance um, some of you had a complete shift, a change in your life. Uh, you had the fork in a row. You chose to go down another path, one that altered clearly um, everything for you. But also, it's allowing you to be creative uh, in and around your life. You know, in career, in in finance, in love, it's allowing you a new a new path could be dealing with the fire sign aries sagittarius leo um you've just jumped into something new something fresh you've had a new start some of you moved you relocated you moved somewhere or you moved away from a person presently we're at the nine of wands the star and the five of swords some of you presently if you have not moved away from a person um physically you have moved away from them energetically in terms of love and care and compassion there probably is none you could be dealing with an aquarius there's interference within a love situation or a romantic situation a family dynamic um, there's drama, there's problems, um, or there has been, uh, you're either you or another person is contemplating jumping back into this. Should I re reduce and go back to the eight of wands and start up the energy all over again? Or should I go to the nine of uh, t the 10 of wands and just drop the burden altogether? Um, that's where a lot of you are presently. Um, there's heavy arguing there's everybody you and the other person or other people whatever want to be right no one wants to be wrong no one wants to see their faults no one is laying down the ego no one is doing it and it's because of interference whether from family or a third party or whatever you know it's just it's um it has everything to do with outside interference outside means it's not just oh you left the toilet seat up well oh you left your makeup all over the counter no it's not that type of arguing this is i know you're still talking to her or if you are still talking to her you can have her or or you, or he can have you or you know what i'm done with this because i'm never gonna be number one blah 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 you know it's it's interference okay future nine of pinnacle the high priestess five of pinnacle um i think for a lot of you you're going to become single you're going to become single so you've all or it's, you're going to become single someone is already or is already single You're trying to get in control or trying to figure out what is the dynamic with you. Also, you're holding on to some information in regards to. It's almost as if you're the gatekeeper for something. Some of you holding on to information maybe in regards to divorce or the split of assets or something like that you keep because you don't want to be the five of pentacles you don't want to be left out in the cold this situation may have affected your health also 
it's affected your of course your physical health but it's also affected your mental and spiritual health a lot of you your self-esteem is low you need to know that you are worth the the effort you're worth the time um, some of you can be dealing with a Pisces person um, you're becoming single here or you're just really gonna start knowing that you're worth it the nine of Pentacles type of person man or woman knows they are worth waiting for it they are worth partnering with because they're the nine of Pentacles they want to be at the ten of Pentacles they've done so much to be here a lot of you have gone through the spiritual um, healing that you need to go through in your love and romance situations um, some of you are, are healing trying to heal but somebody's trying to pull you back you don't want to go back to the five of swords you rather stay or keep that person at bay at the five of pentacles where they feel shut out or you have shut someone out uh, continue to work on yourself is what that the advice is for love and romance continue to make strides forward and not backwards um, there's been a lot of change presently and will be in the future. Um, yeah. Okay, so the bottom of the deck for career and finance, the high priestess. Yeah, some of you, like I said, are light workers. Um, you hold the secrets. You're worried, so concerned about life and the philosophy of life and religion and spirituality. Um... Also, some of you could be holding on to secret plans of. Okay, so we have the three of air. Yep. The lovers. Okay. The will of fortune. And seven of earth. Nice. So for some of you in career and finance, there there is a departure of how of a current job a current business whatever however you do your your work or however you make money you're definitely turning away from that it's bittersweet it's been good to you it's you know it's it's had its ups and downs it's had its bad times but it's been good um there will be separation and divorce from that you've made a choice or you're making the choice with the lovers here and the will of fortune says things are happening as they should allow spirit to just continue to let that will turn for you the will of fortune is a 10 card because um you will find um that you're on the right path here if you just let spirit continue to guide you the high priest is at the bottom of the deck in the will of fortune very spiritual cards um you've invested in something you're looking in the past that at what you used to do or how you used to do it or what or something you're looking back at investments um either in someone or something and i think it's you you're trying to go backwards in, in regards to let me put more work into this you might go to the eight of pentacles maybe it was a hobby maybe it was a side job maybe it's something that you feel like okay now i can put more time effort energy into this so that it can grow and manifest into something that i really want or maybe it was another position, another career, another job that um, brought me so much uh, fulfillment. I spent some time there, but I really didn't spend as much time as I've spent here, wherever here is. Um, so you're looking backwards. So some of you may be choosing to walk away from or at least shift the energy of how you how much energy and time you put into where you are because you're going to divide yourself okay and you're finding some peace and serenity in that the three of air spirit helping you mind body spirit peace and serenity by making the choice letting something in and a new beginning here with the will of fortune because spirit is guiding you the seven of earth divinity it's divine timing to you put some effort into something okay bottom of the deck for the uh butterfly oracle cards retirement some of you are concerned about retirement um or the fortune your fortune that you have gained for yourself thus far 
you're worried or you're concerned about taking that those monies and putting it into a new business or starting something new for yourself. Retirement also talks about the departure of one job or one career into another. It also talks about how you do your job. Um, you may have put in 40 plus hours a week. Now you're at a place where you can, you can say, you know, I really can live off of 20 hours a week. You know, I'm, I'm almost at the brink of retirement, okay? Let's keep going. Realizations and epiphanies, right? The high priestess twice. You realize something. You've had an epiphany, um, and you've you've embarked on something. You also have a wish fulfillment here with the star. Religion and spirituality, definitely. Like once again, back to some of your light workers, some of you. So, as we saw in the stone, some of you are so concerned about religion and spirituality, and what's the mean and focus of life, and philosophy of life, and religion and spirituality, and where we come from, and blah 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 blah. I mean, you're, you're very concerned with it, and um, you're kind of on a spiritual journey. I'm surprised I didn't see the Hermit card. But I think the high priest is here being twice saying, you're trying to unlock the secrets of life. You want to know those things. You're, 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 at, for some, okay, some of you, you're obsessed with the knowledge of and the learning of, okay? Find balance in it. Now, I'm not speaking at you, I'm speaking with you because when I went on my quest, um, you can get to a place of obsession, get to a place of, um alienating and isolating yourself because of this newfound knowledge find balance in that know when to turn it on and know when to turn it off especially with you know different people um still respect perspective respect perspective okay and i think a lot of times when we get enlightened we we're we we are just that we're so enlightened we just no one can tell us anything and we know this and we know that and and, and we can blast off in so many different directions about re religion and spirituality to the point where we don't respect any other perspective except for the one that we, the newfound perspective we found okay so remember to respect perspective know when to turn it off when to turn it on take the next step now for some of you, it's a decision in regards to career and finance. Some of you, it's um, do I go back into a certain situation? Take the next step now. If that's going back or staying where you are. Adult children. You could be the adult child. Or you could have an adult child. They um, are in focus here. Um, maybe they hold some knowledge, some key to... Um, help you move forward in something or with something or they could have been the interference that is the five of swords um or or scorpio you were the you are the adult child that was or is the interference in something else in somebody else's situation i don't know you guys let me know get in the comments let me know do remember that i'm going to select two random commenters I do a free five minute reading for them. So get in get in the comment section. Comment, like, share, comment, like, share, post, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Request a personal reading by going over to my website. That's below. Send an email, whatever you want to do. Um, remember, Scorpio, to stay in prayer. Looks like you definitely will be doing that. Prayer meditation. Uh, I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.